Prior to discussing the announcement, it is essential to comprehend what particle accelerators are. The LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, which CERN runs, is a 17-mile-long ring of superconductive magnets. It is the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever built. It represents humanity's highest scientific accomplishment, powerful enough, in fact, to recreate the conditions at the beginning of the universe. But could this apparatus be used to unlock something else? The key lies within the universe's deepest secrets, perhaps even something much more dreadful. CERN, started in 1954, is regarded as one of the most reputable research institutions in the world, with 23 member nations and thousands of scientists. It serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is its flagship undertaking, but only one component of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Envision a racetrack, not for horses or automobiles, but for subatomic particles racing against the clock. The LHC accelerates protons through space, sending them nearly at the speed of light into collisions that recreate the energy levels of the Big Bang. These collisions cause temperatures millions of times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets facilitate the proton's journey, while complex cooling systems maintain the collider at temperatures below absolute zero. The LHC's beams are designed to collide at four key points around the accelerator ring. These correspond to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique goal in investigating various aspects of particle physics. They function as enormous cameras, recording the results of these collisions. Scientists then sort through the debris to find hints of elusive phenomena including the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle. These clues provide insights into the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By studying the microcosm, we gain understanding of the cosmos as a whole. Yet, with every answer comes a new question. Each discovery presents a new obstacle. The LHC is more than a scientific tool. It exemplifies human curiosity and innovation, our unwavering desire to comprehend the forces that shape the universe. But as we push the limits of our knowledge, we must also reflect on the moral and existential questions that arise. What are the dangers of investigating the unknown? Could our search for understanding accidentally unlock forces we cannot control within? CERN's halls, where the boundaries of human comprehension are constantly tested, a new revelation has come to light one that even the most well-intentioned minds find unsettling. Brian Cox, one of the most respected physicists and a former CERN researcher, recently made an announcement that stunned the scientific community. His words both frightened and fascinated. The goal of the Large Hadron Collider, he said with haunting clarity, is to recreate a miniature Big Bang. That's right a miniature version of the very event that birthed our universe. Cox went on to explain the ramifications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's remarkable potential for discovery. This includes the capacity to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and a mysterious substance known as dark matter, a major component of the cosmos. Imagine holding the power of the universe in your hands, the power to conjure its very essence. It's a tempting possibility, and a dangerous one. The miniature Big Bang is not merely a theoretical concept. It's an observable reality at the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy created there reflect those present in the infancy of the universe. It is like witnessing existence at the moment of its birth. But power comes with responsibility. And a hypothetical, or perhaps inevitable, question looms. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something already has. In 1978, a Russian physicist named Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a catastrophic accident that changed his life forever. While working on the synchrotron U-70 at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a malfunction caused his head to enter the path of a proton beam. The beam, moving with unimaginable force, entered the back of his head and exited through his nose. 
His experience was like nothing else. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam left a destructive path, annihilating tissue and bone, yet Bogorsky remained conscious and even walked himself to the treatment facility. The consequences were both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue, death, partial hearing loss, and facial paralysis. Yet astonishingly, Bogorsky's cognitive functions remained intact, and he continued his career in science. His story is not merely a personal tragedy, it is a powerful lesson. It reveals the potential dangers of particle accelerators like the LHC. Their power should not be taken for granted. The possibility of triggering unexpected reactions within the fabric of space and time is not science fiction. It is a genuine concern held by some in the scientific community. The tale of the LHC is as captivating as it is alarming. Concerns associated with the experiments of the LHC include the potential to create a miniature black hole. A black hole is an area of space-time with such strong gravity that even light can't escape. These cosmic vacuum cleaners that consume stars are mysterious entities lurking in the shadows of our universe's fabric. The idea that such an entity could be created by the LHC, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both lay people and professionals alike. There is fear that this black hole could expand, swallowing the Earth and spiraling out of control. Despite the fact that CERN researchers have reassured the public that any black hole produced would be unstable and vanish almost instantly, the mere possibility has sparked arguments, anxieties, and awe. Given our authority, it is essential to comprehend how the LHC might produce a black hole, a concept deeply related to the fundamentals of particle physics. In particle accelerators like the LHC, protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light. The amount of energy released is so immense that it alters the very fabric of space-time. Imagine a tightly stretched trampoline, and then imagine placing a substantial weight on it. The fabric bends. If the weight is sufficient, it can create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be pulled in. This is a simple illustration of what might occur in the realm of high-energy collisions at the LHC. In quantum physics, the universe is both beautiful and bizarre. One theory suggests the existence of additional dimensions hidden from our everyday perception. If these dimensions are real, the collisions in the LHC could exploit them creating gravitational funnels that birth tiny black holes. This mysterious behavior of particles has attracted the attention of notable scientists, especially the late Stephen Hawking. In his work, Hawking warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson might become unstable at extremely high energies. This instability, he speculated, could result in a cosmic event called vacuum decay, one capable of annihilating not just Earth, but the universe as a whole. The renowned British cosmologist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concern regarding the experiments at CERN. In his book on humanity's future prospects, he explored the potential dangers of particle accelerator experiments, including those carried out at the LHC. His words went beyond caution. They were tinged with existential dread, he predicted a worst-case scenario in which a disastrous experiment could trigger a phenomenon known as vacuum instability. In theory, this could cause a phase transition that tears through space-time itself, culminating in a cosmic calamity that engulfs the entire universe. Reese's worries were not unfounded, though they remained largely theoretical. He acknowledged the probability of such catastrophic outcomes to be extremely low, but argued that even a minuscule chance should compel us to consider the stakes. The potential consequences are unimaginably high, and the margin for error in such experiments is zero. CERN scientists have conducted extensive calculations, simulations, and theoretical analyses to ensure the safety of the LHC. Physicist Brian Cox, among others, has emphasized the importance of responsible investigation. Acknowledging public fears and concerns, he pointed out the strict safety procedures in place, 
Cox reassured the public that the energies involved in the LHC are well within the range of what Earth naturally encounters. Even if a black hole were created, scientists predict it would be so small and unstable that it would evaporate almost instantly, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, now known as Hawking radiation. It would be a brief flash of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the void, then gone. Some have speculated further, suggesting that the LHC could open a portal to another dimension or universe. Though largely dismissed by the scientific community, this idea has captivated the imaginations of many, evolving into fascination, fear, and even modern folklore describing a world beyond our own. Could we accidentally activate forces or entities beyond our comprehension? The idea of opening a door to hell has sparked sensationalism across various media platforms, adding fuel to the fire of public anxiety. But what does this really mean in the context of scientific inquiry? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests that, in addition to the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time, there may be others, compactified or hidden from our perception, yet possibly accessible, under extreme conditions. Imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, capable of unlocking doors sealed since the beginning of time. When protons collide at unprecedented energies, the resulting phenomena may allow us to peer into these dark realms. The potential repercussions are vast, but as with all frontiers of science, so are the benefits. To summarize, the CERN Large Hadron Collider is a testament to human genius and ambition in the pursuit of knowledge. It is a tool that grants us access to the deepest mysteries of the universe but it also reminds us of the tremendous risks involved in probing the unknown. With every new discovery, we draw closer to the edge of an uncharted universe, where the limits of science, ethics, and existence itself blur. The question remains, are we truly prepared for the power we are unleashing?